Michael Brandt here with Barrage Bound LLC in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We have been working since 2011 when we bought our very first Hypertherm PowerMax 45 product to partner with Hypertherm and just be a, uh, an advocate about how great their equipment is and we rely upon it. We've been relying upon Hypertherm plasma cutters uh, ever since I started this um, business as a hobby in 2000. And what was it, eight as a hobby? I started welding bicycles and made that really cool uh, piece for Rock City. So it finally happened, it took a long time. I think that I had to earn my way and prove that I would be a valuable asset to become a social media marketer for Hyperfirm. And so we're super stoked, we're super blessed to have the new PowerMax 45 XP along with some deep reach cutting consumables and gouging consumables. And today we have the perfect project to go ahead and get going on this. So. We got a wrecker outside, we got to get way down in a hole and cut a cradle out and uh, re-weld some new cradles and uh, bushings in so that the wrecker can actually tilt and lower. So, uh, excited, check it out while we unbox all these goodies. Okay, right here we have the 45, PowerMax 45 XP consumables kit. Pretty awesome little case that we can keep um, uh, stocked uh, so then we can keep one in the trailer keep one in the shop wherever we need it and when we get low We can just go ahead and reorder so we got swirl ring we got all of our electrodes our nozzles our cups and This part here that obviously I go through these every now and then just because I'm kind of abusing the tool for getting down into the holes where I need to get but that shouldn't be a problem much longer than, uh, I think what's in this box so it should be the high access stuff. I'm hoping we'll see here in one second Ooh, yes, okay. So, this is really what I was excited about. I got to try this out at PRI this year in Indy, and this is the high access um, consumables kit for the PowerMax. And let's see what's in here. So, we have super long electrodes, super long, I guess this would be called the nozzle still, and still have a spoil ring in this extension that goes on the end of the torch. It allows you to get down in there to hard to reach uh, places to get the job done that you need to get done. So we'll likely use this today and give you a demonstration on our current project. Um, along with that are more consumables for um, for this. So the Dermax torch, more nozzles, um, uh, another cap, and another. This looks like a drag tip. So still have to figure out how all these interchange, what the difference is between just regular cutting versus the gouging, and I still have to figure out if uh, the cutting consumables, the nozzles, and the electrodes are different from the high access. Um, obviously, they are for the high access. So get that figured out. So let's open the machine up. This is the money shot here. Love this machine. The first, my first Hypertherm Power Max 45 I had from 2008 until just recently my friend uh, kept begging me and begging me my buddy Roger to buy it from me and so I finally sold it to him um, hoping that I'd get this partnership with Hypertherm and the contributed equipment to take its place and I'd have updated equipment so dreams do come true sometimes if you stick with it and you do your part and you pay it forward and you show them that you bring something to the table companies will partner with you and let you do the cool things that you do and, and represent them represent them so Okay, this box. And mm, I love the smell of new equipment. Here's some more cutting consumables. Um, looks like we have all the manual. We'll read through that. And here is. I'm gonna get rid of this box for a second. Look at this beautiful new machine. Man, it's masculine. Look at that. It's just, I think that they did a really good job designing this. It just looks rugged and durable. And I know it's gonna be a great match for all the different things that we do. The other thing that's really awesome about the PowerMax 45s from my experience is that they run very well off an engine drive power source. So we uh, can take them in the field, put them in our mobile welding unit, power them off our Miller Bobcat 250, no problem. So. Uh, we're gonna get this all hooked up and then we'll be back with our project. It's like a really nice quality torch. Uh, this is called the Duramax lock. So I assume that you can pull that and then lock it in position to 
be able to do what you like with this uh, roller rocker here. So first time putting your consumables in, you got your swirl ring, uh, it slides up inside the torch, and then you have your electrode that slides in there, and then you have your nozzle, and then you have your nozzle body, and then in the kit it comes with a drag tip like this one here. You can see how it's vented and it's uh, machine grooved like that. That's for your drag tip. Um, scroll this on there, drag tip, super simple, just screws right on. Your other option in this kit also comes with a different type of nozzle. So this, you can see this machine nozzle that fits with this tip here and that's for gouging. So that can go back in here into the kit and then we can put the kit away and uh, get ready to fire this thing up. We do have our, our high access uh, consumables here. Um, I'll get a video over here of what we're actually doing. I don't think they're needed just yet. Uh, we'll cut it out. Maybe if we want to gouge out the rest of the metal instead of having to be in there grinding with the grinder for a long time, we might have the, uh, we'll definitely have the ability and uh, option to do so. so. Our project, you can see that we have some damage right here. Uh, whoever built this or repaired it last really didn't do a great job uh, welding and getting a good, um, a good bond to the different materials. So we actually had to spin two new bushings here. Uh, there's a shaft that goes all the way across and then we made these two new cradles here So we got to cut all this out to install our new cradle and That's what we're going to be using first time uh, with the Power Max 45 This is pretty great. This had no problem slicing through that half inch plate along with the weld that was on both sides. So we were able to get that cradle out of there, no problem. Take the camera here. You can see where we can go back through there with our gouging tip and not have a lot of um, gouging to do. We could probably even grind that out fairly quickly, but I'm really excited just to go ahead and try that gouging tip. So um, we'll do the other side the same way. We'll put our new cradles in there. We'll weld them off from both sides and we'll get this truck hauling, hauling cars again.